All right, for the first time ever, American scientists have successfully repaired a faulty gene in human embryos, and they used gene editing to target a heart defect known for causing sudden cardiac arrest in young athletes. Now, this is a huge breakthrough in stopping inherited diseases, but is there a danger in changing our DNA for all future generations to come? Dr. Jeffrey Steinberg, who specializes in fertility issues, gender selection, and IVF, joins us now. Great to have you here, sir. Pleasure Good to, to be see with you. you. Okay, so this is the first time that gene editing has been done here in the United States. It's a big deal. It's a big, big deal. Perhaps one of the biggest deals in the last century. But also controversial. Extremely <laughs> controversial because, um, again, we can we can fix people, mm -hmm. but we don't necessarily fix their uh, children. In other words, they can pass these diseases on. This is the first time that we're making changes that can persist in the germline. So whatever changes we make is not going away. So we've got to be very careful about what's done. Okay, so what is uh, what exactly is CRISPR and what is the significance of this? It's actually CRISPR-Cas9. It's a technology that was actually discovered by accident where we've known about DNA for a long, long time now. We know it controls almost everything about us, but we couldn't do anything to fix it. CRISPR is a technique used to actually use a piece of RNA, which is, which is genetics, mm -hmm. to direct a repair pair of scissors to a defect in DNA and actually snip out that defect. And then once that defect is snipped out, the DNA repairs itself or we can insert a piece of good DNA. So that's a big, big deal. Wow. So in this study, uh, the genes or the embryos or whatever were there, right? right. And they go in and they see, oh, heart defect. Right. Can they also see other stuff like Alzheimer's or cancer? Or they what? can see it if they look for it, okay? Oh, but okay. again, it, it's, so, it's so diffuse that you, they really wanted to concentrate on that one thing. So what they did is they took a sperm donor that they knew carried that defect so that the embryos would have that defect. Okay, okay so obviously a big controversy here right. is the phrase designer babies. Uh, yes. Is there a chance down the road to people, oh, I want all the everybody to be blonde-haired and blue-eyed? Mm -hmm. There is a chance down the road. And, and again, you know, it, it's sort of like saying, should we not develop surgery because someday you'll be able to have your nose fixed when all the time through we've been taking out appendices and saving lives. So it's just a matter of degrees. Mm -hmm. So yes, uh, it, will, it will come to that. We're actually beginning that now, uh, and we're going after eye color. Okay, so this is uh, obviously the study was huge. Um, against the law, uh, legal, like how, what, how, what's next? It, it's, it's not against the law. The, okay. the FDA has put certain restrictions on it. The British made the big leap. We were able to do it. We weren't able to do it in the U.S. because of restrictions. The British went ahead and did it, and they fixed a horrible genetic disease. So the U.S. then said, okay, you guys, you can now do some research with this, but don't make babies yet. Mm. So we're slowly treading our way towards the ultimate goal, which is fixing human beings mm -hmm. and making things better. So you said originally uh, this was uh, going in and looking for a specific uh, heart defect. Yes. Which was genetic. Right. Uh, obviously, there's other genetic diseases, or, or maybe not even genetic, say Alzheimer's. I don't know if that's genetic or not. But, I mean, could you specifically go in and look for something like that? We're, we're actually starting that um, because we've, we've got some genes that we know are associated with Alzheimer's, and Alzheimer's is definitely high on the list. Um, we've got hundreds of different types of anemias, leukemias. Crohn's disease is not, we haven't quite identified it, but it's on the list. So there's all these horrible things that people are afflicted with, and we're going to be able to fix them. It's so fascinating that you literally, like literally clipping it out. It's a pair of molecular egg. scissors. We yes. literally take a pair of scissors and snip it out yeah. and put a good gene back in. It is pretty fascinating. A little controversial, uh, but we'll see what happens with it. We really appreciate your insight on this uh, new sure. study. You can find out more about Dr. Steinberg at fertilitydocs.com. And if you'd like to learn more about CRISPR, we have an article up on our website. You can just head over to ktla.com.